Hello everyone, today we will discuss about the urban local bodies. Uh, if you are not yet subscribed to my channel, please subscribe, like, share and comment. Okay, let us start. The urban local bodies have got the constitutional status through the 74th Constitutional Amendment Act of the 1992. We will see the key features of the 74th Constitutional Amendment Act of 1992. We have the three levels of the municipal bodies. First one, Nagar Panchayat, second one, Municipal Council and the third one, Municipal Corporation. Nagar Panchayat is for the transitional areas. Nagar Panchayat is for the transitional areas and Municipal Council is for the smaller urban areas and Municipal Corporation is for the larger urban area. Municipalities have the 5 years term. State Election Commission conduct the election for municipalities and the panchayats for every 5 years. And uh, 74th Amendment Act also has the reservation for the SCs and STs in proportion to their population in the municipal area and a mandatory provision of the reserving one third of every elected urban body for the women representatives and we also have the one third reservation for the women and reservation were also provided for the position of chairpersons of the municipalities. State Finance Commission recommends the financial health for the urban local bodies. State Finance Commission will recommend for the financial health of the local urban local bodies. And the next planning is done through the District Planning Committee and the Metropolitan Planning Committee. Okay, we will see the district planning committee, the PC. We have the article 243 ZD related to the district planning committee and the objective of this district planning committee is to consolidate the developmental plans prepared by the panchayats and the municipalities and this district planning committees are not constituted in the 5th and 6th schedule and a minimum 4 by 5th of all the members of DPC shall be elected by and from among us the elected members of the panchayat at the district level and the municipalities falling within the district. Next we will see metropolitan planning committee. It comes under the article 243 ZE and the objective is to prepare a draft development plan for the metropolitan area. So the metropolitan area means the population which has the 10 lakh or more than 10 lakh that is called as metropolitan area. And the state legislature makes the provision regarding the composition and the manner of filling the seats of the such committees. A minimum two-third of the members of the MPC shall be elected, that is metropolitan committee shall be elected by and from the among us elected members of the municipalities and the chairpersons of the panchayats falling within the metropolitan area. And next we will see the types of the urban government. First one, municipal corporation. It is a form of, it is a form of a urban local government seen in a bigger areas. 
bigger urban areas and it has a three authorities such as council standing committee and the commissioner council is the deliberative body it is headed by a mayor and the standing committee it is created to facilitate the work of the council and the municipality commissioner is for the implementation uh, generally he is an is officer and next we'll see municipal council or municipality this council founded as a form of the urban local government it is for smaller urban area it is for smaller urban area and the structure is as same as that of the corporation and the municipal council has lesser financial and the administrative authority compared to the municipal corporation next we'll see notified area committee it is for administration of fast developing town and which is established by a notification of the state government next we'll see town area committee it is for administration of the small town small town and it is with a limited number of civic functions next we'll see cantonment board it is for administration of the civilian population in cantonment area it comes under the ministry of defense it comes under the it comes under the ministry of defense this cantonment board is a statutory body it is created through the cantonments act of 2006 next we'll see township it is established by large public sector enterprises to provide a civic amenities to its staff and it is headed by the town administrator who is appointed by the public enterprise next we'll see port trust trust is established in port areas and it is created by an act of the parliament it consists of the both elected and nominated members it consists of both elected and nominated members and the next one special purpose agency they are a function based not an area based these special purpose agencies are the function based not area based and it is established by the act of state government and they are autonomous bodies and deal with the functions allotted to them independently of urban local governments next we'll see second arc recommendation on the urban government the first recommendation is the functions of municipal council and the exercising executive should be combined in same functionary that is chairperson or a mayor and the next one the capacity of municipalities to handle legal and the financial requirements of the responsible borrowing must be enhanced and the third one land banks should be leveraged for generating resources for the municipalities and the next one citizens charters in a citizen charters in all urban local bodies and municipal government should have full autonomy over the function functions over the functions or activities devolved to them and the and the last one the manner of determination of tax should be made totally transparent and object oriented okay that's all about 
आई होप यू ऑल हैव अंडरस्टूड दिस टॉपिक थैंक यू